If the road to the NBA for raw basketball talent Nathan Jawai was a dream, then his road since has been nothing short of a nightmare. Misdiagnosed with a diseased heart in the lead up to his rookie year with Toronto, Nate sat on the sidelines contemplating his mortality for much of the season. He then twice injured his ankle, being traded to Dallas and then on to Minnesota. ESPN's Jason Bennett recently visited Nate in Minneapolis and found a big Aussie giving his all to kickstart a seemingly cursed NBA career. American author Bret Hart once said, the only sure thing about luck is that it will change. Nate Jawai's luck certainly did. A raw basketball prodigy, he breezed through Australian domestic ranks to find himself in the NBA within six years of first picking up a basketball. But that's where his luck ran out. Now, like every other hungry prospect in the Minnesota Timberwolves system, he has to fight to survive in the world's toughest basketball league. Do you feel like you belong in the NBA yet? Yeah. I mean, there's not I go out there, I, I get so comfortable that I'm like, I can compete. Like the game against the Clippers, I went out there and I think I scored like nine in like four or five minutes. Nate Jawai rolls out, gets his own rebound, a put back and one. That's the problem I have myself. And when I know I can do it, I tend to relax a little bit. If you could just close your eyes and wish, for a big man, you know, he's one of those guys where you want all those things, you know, the footwork, the agility, the mobility, you know, and he's got a great mind for the game too. You can just see the growth, you can see it in his eyes, you know, as he's playing, you know, the smiles as he starts to figure it out. He's very young, uh, he's very raw, but you can see the potential in it. For a big man, he can really run, he's light on his feet. He just needs to, to learn more about the sport itself and what he can do with that tremendous body. But he, he's quick, he's athletic, he loves to play. Nate's one of those guys who definitely wants to improve, he definitely wants to get better. Uh, he spends the extra time before practice and after practice and watching film and stuff like that, uh, working on his game and improving. You feel like you can help him reach his potential and with somebody with that size of body, it's, he's very intriguing. What I can control right now is to get consistent minutes with the Timberwolves. And I mean, uh, I've been up and down at the moment and it's been great, but the move's been great for me. I have an opportunity here and we are a very young team. I'm kind of glad that I got traded. It's colder here than Toronto. I hopped off the plane when we came back from LA and it was like, wow. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, it's twice. worse, it's, it's worse than standing in a freezer. Put it that, like it's worse. It's cold, it's colder than Toronto, definitely, but I'm getting used to it. It's not too big. It's a bit smaller than, kind of similar to Toronto, but I mean, it's not that well known, but people here are great. All right, we're gonna gather around Kevin Love here and Nathan July. <laughs> Can people be like me that one day, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go shopping, man. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac, you want a real phone? Yeah. Who are you gonna call? Uh, when I leave, I'm gonna call my grandma. Oh, nice. You want to put my number in your phone? No, where's the DSI? Oh, this one? Here you go. You put up here. Isaac, what size shoes do you think Nathan wears? A 10. A 10? <laughs> Nathan, what size shoes do you wear? 15. Ah, oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> It means a lot to me. I look at the smile on his face. I mean, he's happy, he's excited to be here. And I'm, I'm excited to be here by, by myself. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, coming from Australia, it's, it's kind of different. But, I mean, I come from a country where the kids are similar. I mean, I've been adopted myself, but in between my family. So, but it's a good thing to be here. Just to see the smile on his face, you know, it's, it's a good feeling to come and help little kids like little Isaac. My outlook on life now is so different. Like, you can't predict what's coming up because I didn't know I had something wrong inside. What sort of time frame have you put on yourself to, to get yourself right and to start making an impact and, and cement yourself in this competition? I give myself two, two and a half years. Right now, my confidence is low. Um, it's a different style of game. I gotta get used to it. I gotta get used to the schedule. Uh, it's no excuse, so I'm just glad to be here. Longer term, how much potential do you see in him? How good could he be? I don't know if he has star potential in him just because he's developing skills so late in life. 
but he can be one of those players that is highly effective and highly coveted by other teams because of his size and the attributes that we've talked about. I mean, he could easily play in this league for 10 or 12 years. I still have a lot to learn, a lot to develop, and I just got to keep my focus and make myself better, I guess, and take this opportunity with two hands that I have in Minnesota and try to cement a place in the NBA.